Hello beautiful people and welcome to Bomb Kiss TV. So this week's video is going to be slightly different but at the same time not that different. So as you guys know I have been super busy with like work and traveling. Um, I don't think I told you guys this but um, well after yeah after we closed on the houses I flew back home. I came back to Nashville. I flew back home to Oklahoma City to take my mom on like a thrifting shopping spree type of thing for Mother's Day. It was supposed to be a surprise, but I can't hold water. So I ended up telling her like five days before I was coming, like I can't hold it any longer. I'm coming back to take you shopping for Mother's Day. So I did that. Long story short, I say all that to say that I have been super busy. I have been busting my ass. And y'all like, girl, we can't tell. We ain't got that many vlogs, but it's like, if only y'all was behind the scenes, okay? I've been working so hard. Um, so this week's gonna be a little different. So we are going to work. Today's Thursday. It is May 18th, it's 3.05 p.m. So we are going to work tomorrow, which is Friday, and we are the plan is to go to work Saturday too. So basically tonight, I'm just gonna have like a relaxing night in. And this week, we're gonna go to work this weekend and then starting on sunday we are going to do a week of detox and getting out of a slump um being intentional so we're going to get go to work we're going to get the bag we're going to still do what we got to do but come sunday i mean we are juicing we are eating fruits and vegetables no fried food no bread we are hydrating we're taking our vitamins our probiotics like i'm getting back in the groove of like putting my mental health and my wellness as like the number one priority all week i'm gonna get this bag first y'all know me ain't shit changed with my change okay i'm gonna still go get the bread but starting sunday i'm gonna get into juicing i ordered myself these um these like little shot glasses to make like at home wellness shots like little shots that you buy at like Whole Foods, Walmart and stuff they're like five six dollars a piece um those little wellness shots I ordered some bottles off Amazon they'll be linked in my Amazon store in the description box below but I ordered some of those I'm gonna unbox them and show you guys but we're gonna go to work I'm gonna take y'all with me to work y'all gonna get a little snippet of the bag and then I mean we're getting to it I also scheduled a colon cleanse which for those of you that are not familiar with that, that is a procedure where essentially they flush out your colon, like they they clean out your colon. It's exactly what it sounds like. You can Google it to learn a little bit more about it. But I know a few people that have done it and they said that their body was like snatched after, um, they felt way better, they had less fatigue, um, they had more energy, they slept better at night. Um, it was easier for them to complete tasks throughout the day. Um, they never hit a point of like crashing, you know what I mean? Sometimes you, you hit it hard and then you crash. They never, they started crashing less. Um, they felt more hydrated. Um, just a bunch of different benefits. Um, their skin even felt better, like more moisturized and stuff like that. So essentially in simpler terms, it's basically where they stick a tube up your ass and flush like hot water up your butt to like clean out your whole digestive system and it keeps you going and regular and people say they feel lighter afterwards it's a whole bunch of benefits to it but i noticed that certain parts of my stomach like protrude out and they're hard and i feel like honestly it's probably just my digestive system needing to like get back on track so yeah it can affect a lot of things help your it affects your mental like poop is literally a toxin so if you're like full of shit in the literal sense your body's like fighting so hard to complete like normal tasks. So I bought like dates. I've been trying to munch on dates every time I have a sweet tooth. Um, those help, they're high in fiber and they help use the restroom. So yeah, I just 
something that my body's been telling me to do go get a colon cleanse and i'm trying to really focus on that so we're gonna get into our vitamins our supplements we're gonna juice i'm gonna show you guys what i eat all day eat and drink while i'm detoxing so it's gonna be like a kind of i eat in a week while detoxing and juicing so i'm gonna show you all what i juice all the rep recipes i'm gonna show you guys everything i eat all the way down to like snacks like anything i consume drink anything like that y'all are gonna see it but typically y'all see like nothing but the club and like you know a little stuff of me at home but we're gonna get into it okay because it just needs to happen i've been talking for five minutes straight oh well i got shit to say i missed y'all fuck i went to trader joe's and i got i re up on my flowers i'm actually about to film a tiktok for the trader joe's haul but I can show y'all what I got too from Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's. I got four bags of stuff. And I'm going to show you guys what we got. People talk about Trader Joe's being expensive. And I know like expensive, that word in itself is subjective. But honestly, I don't come from a whole lot and i don't think trader joe's is expensive especially for what you're getting so just to give y'all a little rundown of what we got so i got these green onions i got the chicken soup dumplings i got actually 10 boxes of these because these go by so quick i eat them like nobody's business i'm actually gonna eat some right now but we also got some yogurt covered pretzels. Now these, oh shit. These used to be seasonal and like, or like they were, they were, I wanna say discontinued or seasonal, but now they're back permanently. So get a load of that. I've never tried them, but the lady and I were talking about them in the store, and she was like, girl, we just continued these at one point. And I'm like, what? I also got some garlic, organic garlic non crackers to eat with my, like, cheese and fruit. We got some raspberries, some mini cucumbers. I got three mangoes. And then we got some fresh peppers. These peppers look so damn good. I got an orange one too, and then I got some fresh jalapenos. Y'all know I'm a spicy gal. And then I got a bag of limes, because our main focus is green juice. I want the juices to be green. Some granny apples. Some more apples. And then we got two cartons of eggs, and these eggs were $1.49. I don't know about y'all, but eggs have been expensive two cartons of eggs we've got a big thing of blackberries i do like fruit in my salad so yeah some of the grapes the honey grapes which i've never tried these but i've been hearing everybody talk about them so i'm about to try one with y'all right now Oh, wow. These are so good. It's scary. Wow. And then, damn, them is good. I didn't want to put them down. That felt like crack. Um, and before you guys get on my head in the comment section, I do not wash my fruit. I know, I know, I should be washing my fruit, I know. But I'm just lazy and I don't. Maybe one day I will, I have not reached that maturity level yet to where I wash my fruit. As you guys seen, I just ate the shit. I'm sorry. We got some spinach and artichoke dip that we're gonna try. That's really also why I got the crackers. And then I got three of these celery hearts. And then I got a large thing of strawberries, a pineapple, 
we also got some kiwis which these have natural like melatonin in them is what the kiwis basically are good for green juice too and then we got some of the japanese purple sweet potatoes i've never tried them every time i see someone on social media eat it my mouth starts watering at an uncontrollable rate so i was like you know what the next time at the store and i see one i'm gonna grab them and they're basically just like purple sweet potatoes i cannot wait to try that and i also cannot wait to try this y'all know i love me some good sauce okay i love sauce i love dipping i love all that so this is a cilantro dressing um Make sure it ain't got avocados in it. No avocados. So yeah, it's like a Trader Joe's cilantro dressing. It just looked real good and I love cilantro and I'd love to put this on some tacos or some... Cheap dog. Say hello. I already know you recording. What's up, people? he said what's up people but like i was saying before he called me that's pretty much all we got i am going to film a tiktok i've prepared i've prepared me my first little batch of soup dumplings can you guys really see let me see if i can get you guys a good bite the soup dumplings go hard y'all i'm not kidding This is why I don't be watching grocery hauls and snack hauls and shit. Because when I see it, if it look good, I buy it. I like it. I will OD on it. Like, I have 10 boxes of these dumplings right here. 10. Well, now I have nine. But, yeah. I'm about to eat this. Enjoy this. Put this stuff up. I'm scared to burn myself. But that's good. Like I was telling my brother, I'm about to do a detox. We are only eating as I open up a snack. Let's try this. Mm -hmm. So far, a seven day detox. We're only eating fruits, vegetables. Um, if I eat pasta, it has to be chickpea po protein pasta. I'm not eating. Well, I can't say I ain't eating bread. I don't want to eat bread, though. Yeah, fruits, salads, juices, smoothies, things of that nature. I can eat chicken. I'll eat chicken and I'll eat shrimp. Other than that, we are sticking to our fruits and vegetables. And I'm so excited because my body is craving this. Listen to your body. Your body tell you to do something, just do it. Just listen to yourself. But I'm about to finish my snack here, y'all. And put this stuff up. And I'm honestly going to take me a nap. I have to edit all night. I have to edit all night tonight. I don't have to, I get to. It's all about perspective. Perspective. But for now, let's get to that motherfucking bag. So, it is, what time is it? It's 8.32. It's 8.32 and I am at the vape shop about to grab a vape because this one's like burnt out and nasty. I need to just stop vaping altogether, honestly. I really only vape like 
on the weekends low-key i don't know i need to stop though this vape shop actually is like a few minutes away from work i'm about to see how far away it is right now it's literally like let me see hold on it's not even a mile away from my job so it's like four minutes away so i'm about to stop here well i'm already here but he just ran in and got me a vape so i can have something to smoke and then i'm on my way to work it's friday night so my expectations are slightly high because i don't want to come tomorrow i mean i plan on coming tomorrow but i don't want to come tomorrow if you feel me but are y'all feeling the makeup in the context and get into the contacts but yeah i just did like a simple side part black natural black for the hair and i think the lace is eating slightly eating but yeah i'm just ready to get this night over with honestly but yeah hopefully tonight is a good night i haven't been here in a whole week i haven't worked since last friday last saturday i did not come but my friday was super good so i was like i'm gonna take saturday off and just chill so hopefully it's another night like that but honestly if i have the energy to go tomorrow i will still go but i just i don't know i barely have the energy to go today but i'm gonna get a red bull at work so we will see you got the same kind as the one that went away okay let's see if this one's good y'all did you already try it it's good You didn't get yourself one? Okay, this one's good. Can you play that one song? Yeah, my name is Herbo. Y'all love this song. Herbo. 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 I like this song. Yeah, I like this. yeah, my name's G Herbo. I like nasty bits, like classy bits. Bitch, I'm ass fuck. Bitch, I'm ass fuck. You know I'm trash fuck. That's why I'm off this person. Call a suicide. Suicide. On that dick, this got a seatbelt off. Put a little dude's heart. I can't stop killing it. I'm on it. Over and over. No, she. Can you tell me how high somebody had to be to say in the review of the DoorDash order, I genuinely enjoyed every bite of my Taco Bell order. <laughs> that the shit best was Taco gas. Bell I've ever gotten. That means that shit from. was long. <laughs> then you get this is the same. I be trying to DoorDash because y'all not gonna charge me forty dollars for a meal that costs eighteen dollars. I'm doing it right. Go now. to hell. You DoorDash? Yeah. Uh, a chalupa and some nachos. Oh, you and, yeah. I'm it's feeling fat like, today. Can you give me a beef burrito with sour cream and onions and I uh, they got cash. onions at Taco Bell? You gotta ask for Cheesy them. gordita yeah. crunch. Cheesy gordita crunch? Yeah, that shit is fire. You with the other for me. Hold on. Have you seen one of them y'all tried the new or grilled cheese stuffed burrito? No. No, I never even heard of that shit. Never had it. I just got here and they already got me getting food. This is why I'm finna detox, y'all. Wait, hold on. Did we want to get snacks? This is why I'm finna detox. Did we want to detox and shit? I am finna detox. I am finna detox. I'm gonna do it with you. Y'all already know. I'm not drinking no more. So, at all? No. You wanna what? I'm not drinking for till my sister's wedding. You want a bean burrito wedding. with what? You got it? You do it. I don't know. <laughs> Anything you want. But DoorDash can be It should be like a regular. Oh, there it is. Damn, y'all making me want to get motherfucking Taco Bell. Hold on, let me check to see if Luna got snacks. Wait, hold on, what time is it? Because y'all got me over here talking about snacks, and I got a clock. It's 847. See? How do I add sour cream? Oh, never mind. I don't need it. Just add a side. Let it go. I'll add an extra one because I already got a sour cream thing. Okay. Yeah, that's a pretty vape. Thank you. So, you're not drinking? So I've been trying not to drink. I just talked to y'all about this so y'all know I'm for real. So here's my thing. Uh huh. I've been cutting back. I've only drank at work. I cut back at work, which it kind of hurt me because it made my tolerance lower. But so oh, like, so you get fucked up. No, it made it to where like I can't really drink for it. I can't. Oh, okay. But that's a good thing. So I make like a mixed drink. Like I, the whole shot shots at the water bottle uh -huh. shit. I'm not doing that. I've got energy drink. I'm making a mixed drink. It has barely any liquor in it. Uh huh. And I'm gonna just you know and try and just do that. Penis. Look. <laughs> one, one. Okay, I just I said fucked up. But that's a good thing though, because I just I don't drink not outside drinking. of here. Oh, I mean, yeah. technically you are still drinking if you drink. No, but drinking. but it's not like you're not gonna be like you know yeah. saying that. Because I can really fill up shit. a water bottle and drink it in between like eight and one two you know uh -huh. but i'm trying to really like chill the fuck out so i have a energy drink that i put like a few shots in and that's uh -huh. just 
That's Baby, you want something? Um, no, I'm gonna eat my macaroni. Okay. Can you give me some fries? Sorry. I'm gonna regret saying and Just no. tell me whatever. I'm so happy that my kids never today. Ooh, but, just came out my nose. Ew, that's ugly, right? No, that's not pink. Uh, it's the way she just, oh, ew, no. It's 9.40 something. I was going to try and clock in by 9, but honestly, running down there was going to give me anxiety, so I'm just going to... You can just throw something on real quick and clock What time is it? It's 8.49. What's the difference? $30? Shit. Uh, $45. I don't want to pay. It's $105, though. $150. Huh? Yeah, it's $105, though. Yeah, but it's still what do you mean? Like before nine? It's one, one o five. five. Yeah, if y'all are schedule. And then. Oh wait, no. Yeah, right no, yeah. That's before nine. No, no. no, no after, after, after nine, nine is 105. Yeah, one o five. Yeah. Uh huh. One fifty. You bitch, you better get dressed. You better get dressed. One o five versus what? Ninety? No, I think it's sixty. Amy. It goes from sixty. Sixty five to sixty five to one o five. Oh yeah, girl. Okay, bye. Say, yeah. <laughs> Hello, beautiful people. It is Monday morning. Um, we. Do not go to work Saturday or Sunday. I have stuff to do, but let's get into this. What we eat in a day. I've never filmed one of these, so just bear with me, okay? So as you guys see, I am an exotic dancer. So on the days where I do go to work, which is typically once or twice a week, I'm not eating the best and I'm not taking care of like, you know, I drink at work and I've been cutting back, but at the end of the day, I still drink at work. So until I can get to the point of no consumption at all, I'm still going to work on what I eat in a day and detoxing and things of that nature. So it is Monday, it is 7.50 in the morning. I just woke up about 20 minutes ago and the first thing I'm going to consume is leftover juice. So this was going to be like a green juice, but it's just, I mean, I guess technically it still is a green juice, but this is what we're having. Um, I'm only gonna pour like half. Before we have anything else for the day, we're gonna have our green juice. Cheers. So, this juice is good for digestive system, bloating, hydrating, uh, skin cells, <clears throat> um, hair, um, cleansing the liver, cleansing the kidneys. Um, it's good for a lot of things. Um, I can insert a clip of what all's in this juice. I know I had celery, strawberries, berries, um, apples. We had papaya. We had papaya, which is super, super good for like parasite cleanse. Um, but yeah. I made this last night and it is super good. I have to leave the house at <clears throat> about 9.30. So this is what I want. My eight o'clock alarm is going off. Yeah, so my 8 a.m. alarm is going off. But this is what I'm gonna have before I consume any breakfast or anything of that nature. Like I said, I have to leave at 9.30 and yeah. We're just gonna have our juice so that we have something on our stomach. And then we're gonna come back for lunch. I'm thinking, but we are not doing meat at all this week. Um, we're not doing any meat. We're not doing any fried food. We're unless we could do air fried, I guess. We could do air fried, but we're not doing any like deep fried food. And I'm just gonna try and watch what I eat. I'm not even gonna sit here and put my put pressure on myself for a super crazy diet. I just want to eat super clean and super healthy. I'm still going to eat dairy um, and I'm still going to eat eggs, obviously, and things like that. But I just, my main thing I don't want to eat is meat. And if I do eat bread, I want to contain less of it. If I do eat pasta, I want it to be the protein pasta. If I do eat nachos, I want to cook like a vegetable and mushroom instead of the meat. I'm still going to eat the queso. You get what I'm saying? I'm just going to eat cleaner than I normally do. Um, at one point last year, I was vegetarian. I did a cleanse for like, I wouldn't say I was vegetarian because obviously I started eating meat again. I'm eating meat now, but I didn't eat meat for like a whole summer, like a whole three and a half, four months, which I guess is like a quarter of the year. I did not eat meat. So, and it honestly was not hard. What happened was I went on vacation and I was pregnant and I was starting to eat meat because of my cravings and I just kind of kept eating it but my body's asking me to detox now so that's what I'm gonna do so yeah 
like I said, I've never filmed one of these, so take it easy on me. But I know you guys enjoy, like, my cooking and my eating and stuff like that. So I feel like this will be fun for me to try and have creative ideas cooking with you guys um, on more of a healthy note. Because you guys have seen me make, like, oxtails and meatloaf and burgers and stuff like that. And it's like, can we keep it cute just for a few days? Can we please? You know? So, yeah. First thing we're consuming Monday morning is our juice. Okay, so you guys, it is still the same day. I just got back from makeup. I'm about to start work here pretty soon. Um, it is 12.53, so it's about lunchtime. I'm getting kind of hungry. So I'm just going to have a snack. I'm not going to go crazy. So while I'm figuring out my lunch, I'm going to have one of these which is like a little granola bar, 4% um, fiber. So one gram of fiber has some sugar in it, a little bit of iron, a little bit of potassium. Yeah, these are super good. I get them from Whole Foods, Publix, and I believe Walmart. They come in this cute little green thing like this. And just so you guys know, I'm not one of those people that tracks calories that tracks protein that tracks anything the only thing i do is when i'm looking to eat something i try and get things that don't have too much sugar or or sodium that's it my life is too hectic and busy as is i'm not gonna add to it by tracking calories no thank you but yeah this is it that is so good. And then next, we are going to get together a mini cucumber. I'm going to slice this up. These are so bomb and refreshing. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm gonna slice me up a few strawberries. And then we're gonna have a few berries. Me this right here. So I'm just gonna dump my fruit in here. And then I have some honey. Just gonna drizzle that over it. Some chia seeds. Some granola, even though I just ate some granola. And then some pistachio and almond. Alright, so this is our lunch. And then and then I have some leftover um juice and then anyways, I have some leftover juice and then I also have like a string cheese, which the cheese isn't the healthiest, but it's so good and it'll time me over for lunch. Like I said, this is not a strict detox. The only thing I'm like a hundred percent strict on is I'm not gonna eat meat. In these seven days like i'm not gonna eat meat but yeah that's our little lunch bowl let's give it a bite this will honestly tie me over oh this will honestly tie me over until dinner
It's like a yogurt bowl with no yogurt. Then you got the cheese on the side. Mm -hmm. I'm about to enjoy this. It's so refreshing. Then having the nuts in there. Anyways, I am about to get to work and then I will see y'all for dinner. All right, you guys, so it is about 5.30, I believe. Is it 4.30 5.30? I think it's 5.30. But we're about to have dinner, so we are going to prepare. Um, I think we're just going to do, like, pasta and salad. I kind of wanted to do, like, a flatbread situation, but I don't feel like going to go grab get the stuff for the flatbread so we're just gonna do some pasta like some alfredo or no no, no no we're gonna do a pesto and alfredo pasta and then we're gonna do and then we're gonna do a salad with lots of greens 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 my skin's glowy but um let's get this going tonight's dinner is super simple because i'm busy Okay, I got stuff to do. Okay, so a little bit of olive oil. So I've already got our water boiling here on high. So we're gonna make a pesto, like pesto alfredo type of thing. Um, here is the pesto sauce. I'm going to put some garlic in the water so it's already got, uh, seasoned. So here's some garlic and some onions, onion powder. So I have regular noodles and I have these rotini bonza, however you pronounce it, noodles. And these are 50% more protein three times the fiber and 25 percent fewer net carbs and honestly this was not on purpose but the picture they have pesto pasta that was not intentional but we are just gonna pour these in here and then we're gonna start our sauce over here so for the sauce we're gonna keep it real simple We got a, a cucumber. Oh, you bitch! I've heard someone call these microgreens, and then I see clover and radish. I don't know what this is, but it's good, and it tastes like grass, and it tastes fresh, and um, I'm in love with it. So, and we're trying our new cilantro dressing. So first, we're going to get our spinach. This 
gonna be a very simple salad, okay? And then we got our cucumber. Cut up a bell pepper. Got our bell pepper in there. And then we're gonna put some strawberry in there. And then we're gonna add some of our radish. And whatever this is, it's the hot and spicy kind, but it's really not hot and spicy at all. Just gonna put a few bunches of that. I wanna throw berries in there. And then we're gonna add this sauerkraut. Fermented sauerkraut in here. We're almost done. And this is only taking me like 10, 15 minutes total. Look at them titties. Oh, let me stop, I'm sorry. In our cilantro lime dressing. I've never had it, but I wanna try it. No avocado. Your girl's allergic, so we're just gonna add that. Actually, yeah, I'll just do a light drizzle of it. And then y'all know some of that sweet basil. We're gonna add that on top of here, just a little bit. All right, so you guys, let me show you first. Y'all wanna see it? Okay. So that's our salad. Let's, I'm so trifling. And our pasta. Let's taste the pasta. Our chickpea pasta. This is obviously cheesy. So I didn't put cheese in the salad. This is pesto protein chickpea pasta with sauteed cherry tomatoes. And then we have a salad with spinach, bell peppers, strawberries, blueberries, fermented sauerkraut, little microgreens, cilantro lime dressing, and sweet basil dressing. This pasta is so good. It is at like 808 and we're about to go to this place called Copper Branch um, for dinner. Earlier for lunch, I had Subway. Um, I just got a flatbread with like veggies on it. Huh? Huh? Oh, okay. Anyways, um, earlier for lunch, I had Subway with like a flatbread with veggies on it and garlic aioli. It was super good. And Copper Branch, I've never been here and he hasn't either, but it's like a vegan place. They do like bowls, they have like wings, they have everything like vegan. So yeah, that's what we are having for dinner. It's 8.09, so yeah. Let's uh, get into the Copper Branch. I'm excited because it looks good online. So yeah. And tomorrow I have the detox, you guys. They text me. They text me and reminded me of my appointment tomorrow. So yeah. I'm excited, but I'm nervous about it. But it's okay. It'll go good. But yeah, let's go. i
Change of plans. We are at Cinco de Mayo instead. I'll explain why later. The Copper Branch place was, I ain't even gonna tell y'all till tomorrow. They was crazy as hell. That's all I'm gonna say. Change of plans. Good morning, you guys. So, about yesterday. First of all, today is Wednesday. It is May 24th at 11.49. I have not had anything to eat yet. I've drank one bottle of water. So today, I have my colon cleanse that I was telling you guys about, which is at three o'clock, and it's with Nashville Colon Care LLC. And it's at 3 p.m. Um, I'm not sure how far away that is. I'm not, how sh I'm not sure how far away that is. But um, it's 11.50 now, so I'm about to go ahead and start getting ready for the day. I'm gonna have me a little snack, and I'm probably gonna do fruit and a granola bar and maybe a boiled egg to hold me over. Um, actually, yeah, let me boil the egg now. That sounds good. Okay, so we got our eggs going on have a boiled egg or two with some fruit and a granola bar and that's all I'm gonna have before because I think I have to wait a little bit after the procedure before I can eat. So yeah, I'm kind of nervous because I've never done this before. Um, if you guys have done a colon cleanse where you go and they put the thing in your butt and like literally clean out your colon, like sticking the thing in your butt, let me know because I'm getting nervous now that it's three hours before the procedure. But um, I am dressed right now this is just what i got i woke up and put on um for now but i am about to actually get in the shower and get ready for the day um i got some lashes that came in the mail so i'm gonna throw those on real quick potentially and then i actually have um a few items to try on um to get ready for the day but yeah we're gonna have a little snack and then we're gonna get ready for the day and head to this colon cleanse y'all i'm so excited but i'm so nervous like i don't know just sticking something in your butt just let me shut up because i ain't new to that but still that's different you know what i mean but let me tell y'all real quick what happened yesterday i know y'all probably don't care but i'm gonna tell y'all anyway because it just let me just tell y'all what happened so yesterday um, I went to Subway and I had lunch. It was good. Y'all saw that. So for dinner, I had been wanting to try this place called Copper Branch. So that's a vegan place um, not too far from my house. And they basically offer different things like sandwiches, wings, um, chili, soup, rolls, burritos, tacos, bao. Like they offer a bunch of different things that are all just vegan and it looks super delicious. And it's like a vibe. They have a patio. They have an indoor section. Like it's a whole shit, right? So I was like, I'm gonna go to Copper Branch. So my friend picked me up and we went to Copper Branch and he's never been there either. So we walk in and we're looking at the menu. You order at the counter. This is the Copper Branch down the street from Morton's downtown Nashville. Don't go there. And I'm about to explain why. So we're looking at the menu and I'm like debating on if I want the Reuben sandwich or the Lao Bao tacos or what I'm gonna do. And I'm like, what are you getting? He's like, I don't know. He's not vegan or vegetarian. He's just trying this detox because I was like, just do it with me. You know, he's he's not into none of that, but he's trying it. He's liking it. So I'm like, you know, let's just try it. So 
Yeah, so we're looking at the menu trying to figure out what we want to eat. And I noticed that like we're stepping up to the counter and like no one's greeting us. They're just looking kind of crazy. But I'm not thinking nothing of it because I'm just like, let's just get our food and go eat on the patio. And we don't even have to be in here. Now, mind you, there was live music going on. Okay, so there's a lady in the corner playing the guitar. You know, this is Music City. So she's singing her country music all loud as hell to the point to where I can't really concentrate on the menu because she's screaming. She's singing, but she's screaming. No disrespect to the lady. She was great, but it's a very small restaurant and she was just in the corner screaming into a microphone. So it was kind of like I couldn't really concentrate. So this lady comes from behind the counter and walks behind me in my company and coughs and goes we're closed like she says we're closed as she's coughing now pause it's 8 15 and copper branch closes at 9 p.m it's 8 15 p.m as this is all going on and copper branch closes at nine and there's people in there eating there's people on the patio eating there's a live band playing like it's downtown Nashville, so it's going to be cracking until you close. It's, it's not one of them places where, like, people ain't going to come in because it's an hour. Like, no, it's downtown Nashville. It's cracking. People are going to be coming in here. Mind you, there's two people behind us coming in, in to get in line. Okay, keep all that in mind. So she walks by and she coughs and says we're closed right as she's walking by me and my company. So I looked at him and I was like, what the fuck did she just say? And he was like, I really couldn't make out what she said, but she coughed and like whatever she said, the whole thing was weird and gross. And I'm like, now mind y'all, I'm sleepy, right? And when you're sleepy, you can trip out a little bit. So I'm thinking like, I'm tripping, like I'm just sleepy. Like, you know, it made me nervous. Cause I'm like, am I hearing shit that's not even being said? You know what I mean? Like I'm not playing with a full deck of cards as is. So I got scared. I was like, damn, I really think she just said they're closed and coughed. like. But maybe I'm tripping. He was like, I don't know. Let's just order and go outside and eat. Because we really wanted to try the place. So I finally step up to the counter. Because I'm like, you know what you want? I know what I want. So we step up to the counter. And the lady that's ringing us up, she's the manager. Or one of the managers. She's black. She had two little space buns. And I don't have her name. But she walked up and was like, what can I get y'all? And I'm like, what is going on in here? Like, she just had a fucking attitude. So I'm just like, okay, can I get the Reuben sandwich? And she's like, we don't serve that at this location. Mind you, it's their special of the week. It's flashing on the screen. So I'm thinking, okay, they must not want to make it. So I'm like, okay, well, can I get the bow tacos? She was like, yeah, do you want anything else? Like she was just being rude as fuck. And I'm like, chili cheese fries. She's like, we ain't got no more chili. And I'm like, you don't have it or you don't feel like making it? Like, I didn't understand what was going on. So she said, they don't have no more chili. I said, okay. Well, I'll just get regular fries. You know what I mean? So I step out the way. He orders his food. She's like $30, which, I mean, it's expensive, but it's vegan, so whatever. So he pays, and she just hands us the receipt and walks off. Like, the whole transaction, she was pissed. And the white lady that walked behind me and coughed at this point is behind the counter, too. So it's the manager and the white lady. So the white lady, like, we go to go make our drinks or whatever at the little drink station. And I'm telling him, like... I could be tripping, but I swear she said we're finna close as she coughed. Like, it was weird. It was weird as hell, but I could have swore that's what she said. He was like, are you serious? Like, are you sure? And I'm like, dead ass. And like, something's telling me don't eat here, you know? So as I'm telling her, as I'm telling him this, I look up and she looks at me and goes, I don't give a fuck. And, and turns off and goes, go do her own thing. Now, mind you, this is from across the room. Like, I'm at the, it's a small building, but like, imagine like me right here from like a little bit past that door is where she was. And she looks at me and goes, I don't give a fuck. And like kept doing whatever she was doing. So I'm telling him like, and then I think she just said she don't give a fuck. And he was like, are you fucking serious? And I'm like, yes, I said, I'm not eating this food. So I walk up to the counter, I'm like, excuse me. Like, did you walk past us and cough and say we're closed? And then did you just look at me and mouth that you don't give a fuck? And she was like, yes, I did, I'm sorry. I was like, what do you mean you're sorry? Like, I was like, y'all, it's 8.15, y'all are close to 9. I said, even if that's how you feel, why would you walk past somebody and cough and say it at the same time? Like, for one, that's fucking gross. You're dealing with food. This is a restaurant. COVID is still a thing. Like, I'm not saying she had COVID, but why would you walk past someone and cough on purpose and say we're closed? You could have simply just been like, ma'am, 
we're not taking orders past 8 30 so if you want to order order now you could have said something but it was only 8 15 so you knew you couldn't say shit like and then you're gonna look at me across the room and say you don't give a fuck because i'm telling my dude like what she just said you're gonna look at me and say you don't give a fuck okay well bitch i don't give a fuck either so i'm telling him like no we're not eating here like she's like i'm sorry i shouldn't have said that i'm gonna get in trouble for it you're right i shouldn't have said that i'm sorry i was like why did you do it she was like i don't know i'm looking at her like is this really even happening like i just want to I, I have my camera in my hand too and i was like i don't know what y'all got going on but i'm a youtuber and i was just excited to try this food place i'm not trying to make nobody mad i'm not trying to make nobody wait work longer i don't know what the attitude and all this is going on you cussing at me and shit but i just really wanted to try this place because it looked good but i'm not gonna pay and i'm not gonna let him pay for food and service and y'all are treating us like shit so just refund the money and she was like no it's fine i'll take care of their food no bitch you think i want you making my food listen one thing y'all gonna learn about me if you have an attitude or if you have bad energy or just anything or if you don't like me on the low and i know it i will not eat your food i will not accept your gifts i will not um welcome you around me i will be I, i'm not i don't want to deal with none of it if you have any nastiness on you i'm damn sure not eating your food i'm not saying she was gonna poison me i'm just saying whether she meant to or not if you listening you listening whether she meant to or not she was going to taint my food so i'm not dealing with it I'm not eating after nobody with a bad, nasty-ass attitude. I don't accept gifts from people with nasty-ass attitudes. I don't bring stuff into my home that people buy me with nasty. I don't do. I don't play that shit. I'm not gonna consume anything that has anything nasty attached to it if I can help it. Okay. So no, I don't want the food. I don't want it for free. Just let me leave. So we left and we went to um, a Mexican restaurant which is what you guys saw after called Cinco de Mayo. Um, it was amazing, their food is always amazing. They never miss, it's good. I had a spinach and cheese enchilada with rice and beans and some salsa and a cheese quesadilla, which is just like a tortilla with melted cheese. And it was good. Um, was it too much dairy? Probably, but it was good and it was still vegetarian. It wasn't vegan, but I mean, hey, you win some, you lose some. At least I didn't have meat, right? So so yeah that was what happened with yesterday's food like and i'm wondering like between what happened at my apartment and just some of the things that i've experienced downtown i'm wondering if downtown nashville like shies upon black people because i don't know what it is but like whenever i'm out with him we get looks you know what i'm saying sometimes they look nice sometimes they look mean and i, I don't see a lot of interracial couples in nashville or like interracial dating you know what i'm saying i don't know what it is but I will say like Nashville, some parts are good, but some parts are a little bit nasty. Like when I go to Morton's, they treat me with the utmost respect, like the utmost, you know what I mean? And I feel like that's cause that's such a, like a five star high class place that, you know, they just treat everyone like that. But I feel like Copper Branch, like y'all are some vegan little like hot spot downtown, but it's not nothing crazy. Like y'all, who do y'all think y'all are to be treating somebody any type of way? Like the food here is $15 a person. And I'm not trying to talk shit, but I'm just saying like, I've had more expensive places treat me better than that. I don't know what the logic is behind it, but that turned me off. Um, I know y'all probably gonna be like called corporate and shit, but honestly, I'm gonna let the universe do its thing. I'm not gonna call and go out my way to get them in trouble. I have other shit to worry about and do, like shower, get ready for my detox and things like that. I'm gonna share it with y'all to let y'all know don't go to Copper Branch downtown Nashville, but I'm not gonna go out my way to like have anyone losing their job or like, you know what I'm saying? That's just really not in me. I don't like dealing with it. I'd rather just leave and not deal with it no more. I could probably call corporate. I could have recorded the whole thing and called cor corporate and had both of them fired, but for what? Like, you know what I mean? Like they're gonna get whatever, they just ordered themselves some bad karma. They're gonna get it. I don't have to do nothing. I'm protected, I'm safe, I'm guided. I don't have to go above and beyond in this realm to make sure that they learn their lesson. That's that's above my pay grade. I don't I don't that's not my job. My job is to remove myself from the situation. So there's that. In my head I wanted to grab that bitch by her shirt and beat her ass, but obviously, you know, this ain't Grand Theft Auto, so I didn't do that. I just left. But yeah, that's what happened on yesterday's meal. But today's gonna be way better. 
we have our colon cleanse and then we're gonna go to whole foods and grab a few ingredients for dinner um i'm gonna take y'all with me to the colon cleanse because obviously y'all gotta y'all gotta go y'all not sending me over here by myself to let them stick some of my butt y'all gonna go period and then tonight on the menu we are having black bean burgers sweet potato fries and southern style green beans so we are making that all at home i might just get a bag of sweet potato fries i don't know yeah i don't know if i feel like cutting and prepping and doing all that but the burgers the black bean burgers are going to be made completely from scratch and i'm so excited because i haven't had one in a while but yeah i'm about to shower and then we're going to get ready for our cleanse oh yeah wait wait, wait. y'all are going to get dressed with me because i have a few things i want to show y'all so y'all gonna get dressed with me real quick and pick out our outfit so yeah let's get to it all right you guys so let's get ready for our day huge shout out to vava lash for sponsoring this portion of today's video so these lashes are from amazon i'll have all the information in the description box below they have different sizes different lengths um they're clusters um so it's to me it's like individual and cluster because some of them like those right there are smaller clusters than some of the wider ones um, it came with this handy dandy applicator and let me go ahead and tell y'all now I really enjoyed these lashes on a scale 1 to 10 I give them like an 8 or a 9 out of 10 um, it came with this applicator right here which has glue and a bonder on it so you'll put the glue on there first use the applicator bond it and then once you've applied it you'll seal it with the other end which is a sealant so yeah I really enjoyed these they gave me like a supernatural look um if you guys are interested in lashes but you don't necessarily want something super dramatic and you want like a DIY beauty on a budget at the house then definitely check out this company right here Vava Lash um yeah not everyone wants the dramatic lash we're over that we want something cute and subtle that still speaks volumes to where you can still look put together but also budget friendly those individual extensions are two three hundred dollars we're not doing that so yeah i'll have a discount code for you guys in the description box below um as well as the link to all the products and yeah don't y'all see that natural baby natural let's get into it it's time to get ready for the day huge shout out to jarley she for sponsoring this portion of today's video I'm going to try on all these pieces. Everything you see will be in the description box below. Thank you again, Jerley Sheep, for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Let's get into these yeah. clips. Guess the 
this outfit? I know you didn't. You didn't think I was going to like this. But I actually like this outfit. I think I like it because it reminds me of pajamas. But we got the lashes on, which I like these because they're giving supernatural. Look like they could be wearing real lashes. But yeah, so our eggs are done boiling. Ow. Oh, they're cleaning the windows. Anyway, our eggs are done boiling, so I'm gonna have another granola bar and like a handful of these mixed nuts, which is like cashew, almond, pistachio, and two boiled eggs. And I was gonna do the tea, but honestly, I think I wanna do the tea before I go to bed. I don't know, I'm not feeling the tea right now, I'm feeling the water. So gonna have some cranberries. All right, so I like my my boiled eggs hard and then we got italian seasoned paprika and onion powder yeah so i'm having two boiled eggs mm -hmm. so fucking good protein 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 some nuts Dried cranberry. And our granola. Mm -hmm. And our water. And like I said, I just, I was in the mood for the tea earlier, but now I'm not. I'm just drink water. granola bar and cranberries mm -hmm. huh you can hear me hello hello So as you guys can see, I am at my colon cleanse session. Um, I just did paperwork. She explained everything to me. It's actually a house that they've turned into a business, which I think is so cool because y'all know of the business I own. Um, so I think this whole setup is super, super cool, super interesting. Um, but she gave me this thing to drape around my waist. And essentially what she's going to do is lubricate, lubricate and plug this thing into my and then it's going to flush all the toxins out. So I'm doing a complete colon cleanse. So ah, I'm so nervous. I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. Okay. So I'm going to record myself as it's happening so that you guys can get my real raw reaction. Because I'm excited, but I'm nervous. But my body's telling me I just need to do this. So I'm going to do it. Period. But let me get ready for the session and I'll see y'all when it's time to shit. Okay, I've taken a few breaths. Okay, I'm ready, I think. Okay. You okay? 
That's it's the worst of it, I promise. That's it? That's it. Okay. You did it. Let me see. I'm going to tell you. Is the water cold? It's warm, right? It's warm. It's going to start out cool, Morgan, so you know that there's water moving through you, and then it will go up to body temperature, just so you know what's going on and you have some sensation. You doing all right? Yeah. again on Monday okay you guys so I just got back from my colon cleanse and it was very interesting I feel like my body really really needed it and craved it um I feel less pressure in my stomach because towards the top of my stomach I don't know if you guys have noticed but like towards this part right here it's usually like bulky and hard and if I don't know if you can tell but it, it went down just slightly um you can't really tell it went down slightly but i'm gonna go back monday um for around two she knows i'm on a cleanse a detox cleanse right now um so she said she was able to get like the first layer of the intestines but she want to get at the very top which is this part up here i had a lot of gas which that's no surprise y'all always see me on here burping when i'm not on here burping i'm farting like I was not shocked when she said there was a lot of gas. So because of the gas, it was hard to get out as much as I could have. But even with that being said, I still got a lot of waste out. And I know that is disgusting. And some of you guys may be like, oh my God, why is she telling us this? But I'm just trying to be transparent about the cleanse and like this detox journey that I'm on right now. So yeah, it felt, it felt kind of like weird. I don't want to say uncomfortable because it wasn't uncomfortable. You guys saw, like I put it in right with you guys on camera so it felt kind of like at first it just felt like something cool at first the water was cold and then she made it room temperature so at first it felt like a cool type of water or like cool sensation because the thing is actually inside so you don't feel the water going passing through it's already inside so at first it felt like just like a cool sensation type of thing and then it got warm and honestly it felt like just something coming in and out like not in and out like this but you can feel water when she fills you up flushing the water inside you feel the water going in and when it's coming out you feel the water coming out that's the best way to describe it um i never felt actual waste coming out because there's a tube inside my butt so you don't feel the waste droplets coming out it's just going straight into the tube and vacuuming out um whenever the session was over i went to the restroom and she said some people are in there for a minute or two or some people are in there for 10 or 15 minutes I was in there for like 10 or 15 minutes and it was just going like it was just going 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 like them bowels was just moving so I stayed in the restroom for about 10 or 15 minutes after the session was over to completely empty out anything else um but yeah she, I bought she does a deal where if you do three of them it's like $75 cheaper so I was like I know I'm gonna be back so she was like I suggest you come back Monday since you'll be done with your detox and cleanse and um we'll get out anything that's left over then and then you can come back in like a month you know what I mean to finish the last session but overall it was a great experience it was very different um I did not know she was gonna stand there and manually do it like manually flush and pump but I mean it's whatever she was a sweetheart um if you're ever in Nashville definitely visit them uh Colin Clint let me give you the information Nashville Colon Care LLC is what you will look up if you're ever in Nashville or in surrounding areas and want to cleanse. She was amazing. The house was amazing. The decor was amazing. I say house. It's, they've turned a house into a building. I mean a, a business building. You know what I mean? But it was very different, but I'm glad I did it. And I just feel my body purging and releasing all the bullshit. So fun fact, um, I'm so glad I did it and I can't wait to go Monday. So tonight I have most of the ingredients I need for the burgers. Um, I do need like breadcrumbs and um, um, I need breadcrumbs for dinner. I have the black beans. I have the veggies and stuff. I really just need breadcrumbs and then sweet potato fries. I'm going to do some easy fries that I can just throw in the air fryer. Um, I don't want to actually fry anything. I thought about doing fried green beans like air fryer fried green beans. But I don't know. We'll see. We will see. But yeah, I'm so proud of myself. 
I feel I had someone comment before and was like, if you're still gonna eat junk food, why even do the detox? And I was like, if there was not junk in me, there would be no need to detox. Let's use our brains, ladies. Like, let's not, let's use common sense. I know it's not that common, but just think about it. If I ate perfect 100% of the time, would I really need to detox? Probably not. I am 28 years old. I am going to live my life. I'm not gonna put myself on these strict ass diets or restrictions and stuff like that. I'm gonna eat healthy. I'm gonna to listen to my body. Every now and then I may crave something and I might eat it, but that doesn't mean that I don't wanna implement healthy habits into my daily life. So that's, that's that. I don't feel like I have to explain that to anyone, but I'm going to because I feel like people feel like you're either all in or all out. And it's like, no, I don't have to be. Like, maybe this is a bit, maybe this is a journey of me being all in i don't know a lot of y'all don't know this but i've bounced back and forth between vegetarian pescatarian and a normal diet since i was in fifth grade i bet you guys did not know that did you that is something that i personally have bounced around with since about fifth or sixth grade and i'm 28 so you know, obviously back then I didn't do deep cleansing and detoxing and colon cleanses and stuff like that. But I've always bounced back and forth with it. I just listen to my body. That it is what it is. Um, so, yeah, I was vegetarian um, for a while until, like I said, I got pregnant and I was craving meat. So I started eating meat again. And then I looked up and my body was like, girl. I know it was just pregnant, but chill, not too fucking much. So I listened to my body and I've, you know, done it, adjusted accordingly. There's nothing wrong with you deciding that you want to every now and then do something healthy. You don't have to do it 24 seven. You can do it every now and then. You just do whatever works for you. I hate when people act like when it comes to like health or the gym or anything that has to do with like bettering yourself, they act like you can never do wrong. You know what I mean? Like. I might get a two piece from Popeyes. It doesn't mean that a month later that I'm not gonna wanna detox and juice. Be fucking for real, okay? Yes, I'm a dancer. I go to work and I drink. That doesn't mean that sometimes I don't wanna detox and juice. Thank you. All right, y'all. So I am back from the store and getting my car because it had got towed. Random, I know. So I told y'all we're doing black bean burgers. So I have my ingredients out right here. We're also doing fried green beans, but I'm not going to film that part because it's my first time making them and I just don't want to film that part, but we're doing air fried green beans. I'll show y'all the end product if it's good, but we did get the bag of trim green beans for that. And then also ran a Whole Foods and got some panko breadcrumbs and Parmesan cheese for tonight's dinner. So let me show you guys the TikTok because I've made black bean burgers before, but for some reason, even if it's something that I know how to make, like I prepare myself to make it by just watching a recipe video on it. Whether it's on TikTok or YouTube or whatever, I just have to watch like a video of someone else making whatever it is that I'm about to make. Feel me? Okay, so I'm about to show you guys the the recipe that I'm gonna put my own spin on, but it's pretty much gonna be the same. For some reason, I'm craving a black bean burger. I don't see this as a meat substitute. I see it as a delicious way to eat vegetables. I started off sauteing half an onion and a jalapeno. Also, I just kind of made up this recipe as I went, and when I tell you that it was good, it was so good. I added some frozen corn and continued to saute until it felt like the veggies were not raw anymore. Then I added them to a bowl with one can of rinsed and drained black beans. I added some panko breadcrumbs and one egg. Seasoned with tahini, chicken bouillon, red pepper flakes, black pepper, cumin, paprika, and Old Bay. If you're vegetarian, use veggie bouillon or just salt. Added some cheese, more panko because it was too wet, and then some fresh parsley, and I mixed it up with my hands. I made them into patties and cooked them on a medium-high heat in the same skillet that I sauteed the onions and jalapenos in. Look at that sear. It was so good, I served it with some spicy mayo and enjoyed. It was a great veggie burger. Veggie burger. Okay, so yeah, that's what we are making.
to the fries bomb. And then I'm gonna have a bite of this. That's our veggie burger. All right, moment of truth. Oh, if you want ranch or something. Barbecue. Damn, it tastes good. It got a nice crunch on it. The only thing I wish different is I wish I would put mozzarella cheese on this. I'm gonna drink some water and shower. Oh, okay, that was my last bite for real. And I'll holler at y'all tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. So it is the next day. The black bean burgers were a hit. Um, I've had two bottles of water so far. It is like 11 me seven. Um, I was going to cook some spinach and eggs, but I've already set up my, what am I trying to say? I've already set up my, I've already broken down my stove because I'm going to clean my kitchen. But right now I'm working, I'm editing and I'm on a roll and I don't feel like cleaning right now. So I'm about to just make some ramen. I should probably have fruit, but ramen sounds better. So, because it's low key lunchtime anyway. I should go to Vegelicious, but I just feel like I need to keep working. So yeah, we're just gonna have some regular ramen. I'm gonna add green onion and spicy uh, chili to it. I know y'all thinking like, girl, that's not healthy. And I know it's not, but it's just noodles. It's not meat. It's not no dairy. It's a little bit of sodium. And I can admit that. But like I said, I'm working right now and I'm kind of, I'm not crunch for time, but I want to just get what I have to do done. And I don't feel like cooking right now. This is a realistic what I eat in a week, okay? I might have some noodles sometimes. So I want an egg, but I don't have one made. I could throw it in the microwave. So if you guys are ever feeling lazy, this is some chai point shit that you're about to do, but you can literally put your egg in a coffee mug and season it with salt and pepper and throw it in the microwave and it'll cook. Like, no surprise there, but I'm gonna make two. And it's trifling. I will admit, what I'm doing right now is trifling, but that's just the type of time I'm on right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna season it with red pepper flakes, garlic powder, and uh, pepper, black pepper. But yeah, this is what it looks like. And I literally just, I literally just, um, I might stir it. And that's it. So when the noodles are done, I'll throw this in there too. Ain't no shame in my game. Because right now my focus is not a gourmet meal, it's work. Okay, I want to eat some soup dumplings with it, but the soup dumplings have chicken in them, so I ain't gonna do it. But I want to. Here's our chopped up onion. Just throw it in there. Our seasoning packet. And this is the chili paste that I, damn, the microwave. This is the chili paste that I use. I got this from my Asian market by my old house. And it is hot as fuck, so you only need like, like that much. Some black pepper. And then let's mix. There's our egg. So I just 
take it and throw it on there like that. And then a little bit more black pepper. I love black pepper. And bone apple teeth. Hey y'all, so it is, I don't even know what today. Okay, it's Thursday, it's obviously the same day. So I had noodles earlier and then I ate a granola bar. I've been drinking water and I've pretty much been editing all day. And I looked up and I was like, damn, my head hurts. I don't know if it's cause I was staring at the screen for too long. I don't know what it was. I probably just need to take a break cause I was working for like 10 hours straight. But um, I door dashed food from this place called Rhythm and Spice. I've had them before. Hold on, it says it's delivered. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it was, it literally got delivered while I started the vlog. But, anyways, I was not feeling good. And my plan was really to use the leftovers from last night's black bean burger and like make it into something else, either with a wrap or something like that. But I honestly just do not feel like even being in the kitchen right now. I didn't feel like going anywhere. I just kinda wanna be at home today. So we got rhythm and spice and we got cabbage, mac and cheese. And then we got a small, a small protein plate, which comes with um, rice and peas. Let me show you guys. Okay, it comes with rice and peas, barbecue jackfruit and mango and cucumber salad. Um, but yeah, this looks really good. I'm just not feeling that good. So that's why I'm like, you know what? This is from a Jamaican place. I don't know if I said that, but their seasonings are just so freaking good. So I tried that. Jackfruit, good. Rice and peas, good. Mango salad, good. I slid out mac and cheese. Mmm, flavor. I know y'all thinking like, girl, you gonna eat on that white couch? Y'all know how much this couch costs. I'm gonna do everything on this damn couch. Cabbage. This place is so damn good. Hey y'all, so it is Friday morning. Well, it's actually Friday afternoon. It's like 12, I believe. And we are about to make some breakfast. I don't know really what I'm gonna make. I know that I want oatmeal with fruit on the side and I know I want spinach and eggs. Everything else though, I don't really know. So I'm just about to start going and we'll see what we end up with. I want some veggies and fruit. So this is gonna be, oh, and I also know I want hash brown, so yeah. Just using frozen hash brown and yeah, let's get cooking. So honestly, breakfast is like one of my favorite things to cook and eat. I love breakfast food. I don't know what it is. It's just bomb with the eggs, the potatoes, the fruit. 
so I'm just seasoning this with a little nature seasoning, black pepper, paprika, and Italian seasoning on my hash brown. And I have actually a breakfast skillet that I like to cook on. Well, I cook everything on it. You guys seen it from my last apartment? I got a new one and it's white and it goes with the aesthetic and it's so cute. But every time I used to cook with it, everyone would be like, do you ever use the stove? And I'm like, yes, I use the stove. I just enjoy my breakfast skillet. But I'm trying to condense things in my house so I don't want the skillet out constantly. So now I use it less. But yeah. So our hash brown is going. It's kind of like the hash browns they have at um, Waffle House. I want to add a little garlic to it too. And then I think I'm also going to cut up a green onion. We're also going to cut up a green onion. So that part we don't want, but the rest of this we do want. And then I want to drink kombucha, but my body's saying water. So I'm going to listen and just have water. Room temperature, nothing crazy. And yeah, I'm right now I'm watching, who is this? I think this is Maya. Ooh, I think this is Maya that I'm watching right now. No, this is not Maya, I don't know. I'm supposed to eat in the bed and then go to sleep. So after I enjoyed my breakfast, I took a like three hour nap and went to work that night and that is when I broke my detox. So we did six days instead of our plan seven days. I'm still super proud and I had fun filming this for you guys. If you enjoyed this type of content, please let me know and also drop some recipes that you'd like me to cook if you do like this kind of content. Um, and even if you don't like it, like give me some suggestions. Like I'm about to really give it to y'all, okay? Hardcore content 24 seven. No, I'm just playing. But thank you so much for spending the week with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Remember, if you didn't get anything from this video, just listen to your body. That's it. Take care, you guys. And I'll see you next week.